Hey everybody, this is example number three for mechanics of materials covering the basic principles of stress. And the problem statement that we have is we need to find the maximum average shear stress acting on each half inch diameter bolt. So here in the figure, we have a simple connection. It's a double shear connection uh, where we connect three plates via two bolts and they're half inch bolts here and here. And, and so we have this 20 kip force acting so this connection is used to transmit a 20 kip force and so we see this 20 kip force acting in the middle plate and then the 10 kips on each of the the top and bottom plate so we need to find the maximum average shear stress acting on each of the bolts and we have two bolts so the first thing we're going to do is find the shear force acting on each bolt and we define the shear force as v so we do summation of forces so it's equal to the external force of 20 kips minus minus v times the number of shear planes times the number of bolts so we have our external force of 20 kips minus 2 times 2 times v v is the shear force and so two number of shear planes uh, we have two shear planes here's our shear plane one and here's the second shear plane and then we have two bolts as well. So we have 20 kips minus 4V equals 0. So 4V equals 20 kips. And V, the shear force, is equal to 5 kips acting on each, acting on each, acting on each bolt. Next, we're going to calculate the cross-sectional area over which the shear force is acting upon. And so we were told in the problem statement that the bolt, each bolt is half inch has a diameter of one half of half inch so the cross-sectional area is equal to pi d squared over four so pi times half inch squared divided by four and that comes out to be let me see uh, 0.196 inches squared and you guys can also get access to these spreadsheets uh, at our website at engineeringexamples.net 0.196 0.196 inches squared. And lastly, we can calculate the average shear stress acting on each bolt, and that's simply equal to the shear force divided by the cross-sectional area, and that comes out to be 25.465 KSI. 25.465 KSI. And so this is the end of this example. Please subscribe to the channel and also check out our website where you can subscribe to our website as well at engineeringexamples.net. Thanks.